Hi, I'm Brett. Welcome to Post 5 Productions. My dad has had this Link Lincoln arc welder for decades. It stopped working recently. The selector switch. Stopped working. So, I want to tear it apart, see if I can um, secure that back on there. Maybe see if the connections were uh, fused together. Um, see if I can get it running. He already has another stick welder, pretty much the exact same as this, just a slightly newer model. So if I can get this up and running, I'll have another stick welder. Let's get going. So I already started taking some of these screws out. Uh, First thing is just tear it all apart and so we can get a look inside if these all cooperate. Hopefully they're not too rusted where they strip out and I have to screw around with trying to cut it out or drill it out. Looks like this might have just turned into an easy fix. See this copper piece here? It's just dangling. That's supposed to be hooked up by this spring, this hole is. Let's watch when I turn the knob. So, might be able to just flip this around. Stick it back on the post underneath the spring. You might have a functional welder. There we go. Got that spring and the other plastic part going through the hole there. So now, we have turnage. Well, that was a lot easier than I ever expected. Uh, I think since I have this open, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crappy inside. I'll clean up these contacts, maybe hit them with a little bit of grease, and uh, try to just blow the rest of this out. It was fully functional, no issues. It ran a really good bead, kept consistent heat. However, um, it looks like the couple of these contacts in here, especially up by what is that, 190 or 120, up by 120 here near the top. A uh, little bit of discoloration, so I want to clean that out and uh, just give it overall a good cleaning. So like I said, I'll just clean this up quick, best I can. Put a little bit of grease on there, blow this out with the compressor. Put the screws back in, plug it in, see if we can play.
Just cleaned off this piece of angle iron. It's my practice piece for the other uh, arc welder I have. The uh, old Montgomery Ward 295 Powercraft. So, just cleaned off a spot. Has a spot cleaned off for the ground. Um, yeah, sure, 120 looks good. Uh, Probably try some uh, eighth inch 6013 because I really prefer the way that that stuff burns. So we'll see if we can run a fair beat across here. See if we can get consistent heat. And I might adjust it a little bit just to see what it does. One twenty, spot of seventy five, and then ninety. Yep, and then ninety. Not bad for somebody that doesn't really do much stick welding, primarily a MIG welder. There you go. It was a quick and easy fix on a welder that's older than me. Didn't have to replace anything, just had to. Put a stick of copper back on the selector. My dad's gonna be quite pleased. Although he already bought another welder. So I'm quite pleased. Because now I have a welder. Another one. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, check out some other ones if you want, where I use my Lincoln MIG welder to make a new rear bumper from my Dodge Dakota. Uh, or use some of my woodworking tools to make a trash bin for my kitchen out of scrap wood pretty much all made out of a 
table I picked up at the junk at the curb. Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Bye. <laughs>